Good morning and welcome to day 62 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Today we're talking about abundance and finances. Hello and welcome to day 62 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Um, I, I sort of sometimes shy away from um, finances and financial situations, I suppose, because I just feel um, it's, it's, they're personal, aren't they? But I think also I, I get concerned a little bit and it's just maybe a phobia of mine about um, financial abundance and the, and the want and need for, for money. And then it comes into my mind of, of greed and, and, you know, um, and wanting more than, than actually, um, we should need. And, you know, I've done some, in, some, some, uh, sessions talking about, you know, wants and needs and that, but each of us naturally want to grow financially. Um, and we need, to grow financially we need to become sufficient sufficient or abundant and i think it's instinctive for us to strive towards financially uh, and, and being financially independent and satisfied with our ability to earn to make to to build an income and as human beings we love to strive to become successful and a measure of success in a lot of people's lives is how much money you've got, how what car you have, what diamond rings you keep, what house size house you have, etc. But personal success leads to happiness. And personal success leads to financial gain and financial abundance. And what we have to get to the point of is 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 the things that we do. Money's not no, money's never been my key motivator, my key driver. Money's always been a product byproduct of everything I've done. And and you know, I've explained in other videos and and maybe in my book that you know I've been, in my own words, you know, hugely successful in terms of the industries, every industry that I've worked in, in sports and business, etc. But you know, for me, I've never really thought about the money, and it's always been about you know, the job that I do and everything that I've always been doing, even if I look back now, it's about, it's about community, but, and people and helping and healing, but you need, you know, we need, we need financial stability because the financial stability allows us to grow and whatever you want that financial stability to look like is up to you. And, and, you know, for me, it is about getting to that place where, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate. I am really blessed and, but I want you to, start to think about you know accepting abundance and accepting finances without a stigma and you know a lot of people say oh yeah money's a dirty word and all these sort of things and you shouldn't want that much money and 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 they're sort of dogmas and stigmas are attached to it but what happens if you had financial abundance and gave it all away what happens if you had financial abundance and bought a forest so you know all of these things are there so cultivating the feeling of abundance and seeing yourself having already achieved this level of abundance and see yourself celebrating in your success. So we're gonna go into um, a guided meditation where we're gonna do that. We're gonna, we're gonna get you to see a lot of your success and try to cultivate that abundance financially as well. So, as always, I pop a picture up. And this really is about guiding and relaxing your mind and body. So close your eyes and, and be able to accept the positive suggestions concerning finances I'm about to tell you, okay? This isn't going to be something all of a sudden you're going to be in abundance of money or anything like that. But, you know, there is this ability to be able to cultivate and, and you know, bring through uh, abundance. And... By feeling relaxed and letting go of tension, just sitting here and breathing now with your eyes closed, we're putting ourselves in a state of creation where we can attract anything that we desire. This state is where, you know, brilliant ideas and the greatest achievements arise. And also, the more relaxed you allow yourself to become, the stronger your dreams come into reality. And when your dreams approach, all you have to do is accept them. And I'm going to count down from five to one. And each number that I say, breathe in, and breathe out slowly. And with each full breath, 
you become more and more relaxed. Five. Take a nice full breath in. And as you exhale, I want you to feel yourself getting just a little bit more comfortable. Four. Full breath in and as you exhale, I want you to feel your muscles relax and all the tensions loosen. Three. Inhale smoothly and slowly. And exhale and feel yourself relax even more. You're becoming a lot calmer now. Two. Full breath in. And exhale slowly, knowing your whole body is feeling peaceful. No need to do anything. Just feel all the sensations in your body. And just observe. One. Last strong breath in. Holding it for a moment. And as you exhale, you will be completely relaxed and clear in the mind and in the body. And just now find your own natural breathing rhythm. But now I want you to hear yourself saying these positive suggestions. Accepting any of them that feel good to you. You're so relaxed, you're so comfortable and your mind now is open to all of the suggestions that we can build this cosmic and calmer energy. And I want you to say to yourself, abundance flows to me. I deserve to be financially independent. I love creating wealth and success for myself. My destiny is to be happy. My destiny is to be financially stable. My destiny is to be wealthy. Money comes to me in expected but also unexpected ways. And I am worthy of any money that comes my way. I welcome an unlimited source of income and wealth in my life. Because I know money and spirituality can coexist in harmony. I release all negative energy and concepts about money. And money comes to me easily and effortlessly. And I know this is true because I will use my financial abundance not only to better my life, but lives of others. And because of this, wealth consistently flows into my life. My actions create constant prosperity. I'm able to handle large sums of money and I'm very at peace with having a lot of money. And I can handle this success with ease and grace. Life is full of financial abundance. I embody financial abundance. Knowing that money flows effortlessly into my life, I am open and willing to allow financial abundance to come into my life. And financial abundance flows to me from multiple sources. May I be blessed with financial abundance. Financial abundance is right here. And I now tune myself to it. Financial abundance is my birthright. 
I love many and many loves me. I am grateful for the money I receive. I am grateful for money and money is grateful to be in my hands because I know I will use it to better the world around me. I will use my financial abundance to help myself, but more importantly, to help others. I am asking the universe to create me as a money magnet to then be able to distribute those wealth to the people around me who need it most. To be able to build my healing centre, what I need to be able to help others as best I can. And I know that money will come my way because every single day I will make the best decisions for myself, for my family, but importantly, to help those around me. And when money comes my way, I know that I can truly use it for all the right reasons, to make all the right choices and to help all the right people. We're gonna slowly come back to a wakeful awareness and bring back with you everything you've learned here. So I'm gonna count from one to five and each number I say you'll become more awake, refreshed and ready to start a new life with a mindset of being already financially abundant and already in a position to help others help themselves. One, you are slowly becoming aware of your present surroundings. Two, your mind is becoming more alert. Three, you're bringing with you all of the positive suggestions you've learned. Four, you feel even more awake and alert. Five, as your eyes open, you feel extremely refreshed and ready to take action and let abundance flow to you. Slowly open your eyes and come back into the room. It's interesting, isn't it? Because I bet you there were times in there you were thinking, oh, oh, money, money's bad. Money's the root of all evil, we're told. It's not if you do good things with it. Money is a facilitator to be able to help others. That's the way I see it. You know, large parts of my money that I've had recently have gone into buying this camera that makes the video better, buying a microphone that allows you to hear me better, buying equipment that allows me to truly streamline and offer more content and do the things that I need and buy the forest and invest in architects and all of these things all cost money. So don't be ever ashamed of providing your spiritual services and asking for money because ultimately you have to pay bills, you have to feed, you have to eat, you have to develop. But importantly, if more abundance and more money comes your way, you'll be able to do more things to help others. Money's not about flash cars and diamond rings. Money can be used to help the world. How many charity things do you see on television where they're raising money for children in Africa, raising money for homeless people, raising money for cancer, raising money for... It all takes money, so never be afraid of asking or charging or having abundance, knowing full well that when you get the money, you will move it round and shift it with purpose to allow it to be beneficial to others as much as you. So don't think of money as being the dark word because we're spiritual. We should do everything for free because we've been blessed and we've got God's gifts. Footballers got God's gifts. Singers have got God's gifts. They all charge for their services because they have to. It's what you do with the money is the important thing. It's like anything. It's what you do with your gift is the important thing. So, day 62, financial abundance. Today is the day where you're going to start to bring in more money to help yourself, to help others. A 
okay? It's not the money is the problem, it's what you do with it. It's not your ability that's the problem, it's what you do with it. It's not your life is the problem, it's what you do with it. It's those choices that make a difference. Day 62, put your hand on your heart and say, good morning, Julian, I love you. Good morning, Julian, I love you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Today here in the UK, it's meant to be very warm. For us, that's 22 degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit. I have to double it and add 35, so that's 44. It's in the 80s, which for us is, uh, which is hot. I've just woke up this morning. It's 7.41, hence the reason I was trying not to yawn. Some of you may see that Reggie is still... Can you see him? Yeah, he's there. He's still asleep. So he always comes down in the morning and does my meditations with me. He's a very mindful dog. See you on day 63. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye-bye. And be loving, give love.